The Big Show with Night and Day. Get a hell of a caffeine fix from your local Night and Day from just $4.50. Don't fight it. It's time to go up a size. This is the biggest, biggest, the biggest. This is the biggest. Our biggest show. The Hodaki Big Show. With Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Keezy. Oh, g'day, you mad bastards. Great to have your company this Friday afternoon. And what a glorious Friday afternoon it is in Auckland City at the moment. Beautiful, sparkling, sunny weather. Uh, but you, my friends, are listening to The Big Show, brought to you by night. And... Mogi, your stallion, and your tidy whitey. How's life? Going pretty grousy, you mad dog, you sick son of a bee. And uh, what a day it's turned out to be. I don't want to make it about myself today. Sure. We've got a hero amongst us, brother. Absolutely. Um, so the sooner we get the spotlight on his adrenaline drenched body, um, true hero. True hero. Absolutely. We're talking about old Keezy, of course. Keezy, I. Gotta be honest, mate, looking at you, I'm. S- I'm doubly stoked that I didn't jump because you're looking a bit woozy. And understandably, because uh, that took some courage, brother, jumping off that little ledge there. Don't call it a little ledge. <laughs> well, right. was it was a, a little ledge. The, ledge. the ledge was little. It was tiny. The harbour bridge was not. It was not. So, yeah, if you're just joining us, just did a, um, a bungee jump off the Auckland Harbour Bridge, dressed up as a daffodil for Daffodil Day. Don't forget, text support to... Dressed up as a backbone. Yeah. yeah. Well, I always dress up as a backbone. Yeah, yeah. Well, you were wearing backbone undies, apparently. Uh, p- yeah, apparently. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> support to 206, by the way, if you want to make a $3 donation. I've As soon as I was winched back up after doing it, instant headache. And it was just all the blood shooting downwards into my head. Yeah. And it's still like that. Yeah, right. And as soon as I walked in the office, uh, six people were like, you look really pale. You need yeah. to eat. But it's someone just bought me a burger, so that's nice. I'm feeling yeah, yeah, better. Yeah, I've got a Coke yeah, yeah. Zero there as well. Yeah, yeah, a few, yeah. A few beers, he's keezy, and she'll be tickety boo. Yeah. Now, but good on you, mate. Legend. I've um, actually got a bit of a bone to pick with you about this whole thing. Sure. Because. Yeah, so, yeah, we'll get into. Well, it. we can get into that next if you want. Yeah, absolutely, we'll get yeah, into yeah. that next. Yeah. Hey, as always, um, shout out Friday three four eight three. If you got any shout outs, let us know. In the meantime, is it about oh, Beastie Boys? Geez. The Hauraki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Keezy. Yes, indeed. Rage Against the Machine there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Friday afternoon. The time is 15 minutes past four o'clock. Now, I believe we have some shout-outs there, Keezy. That's right. It is, of course, Friday out shy day. Send them through on 3483 and you go in the draw for a $50 night and day voucher. Shout-out to Finn Diesel. Sorry, what? Frout out... To yeah. Finn Diesel for driving too fast and still being late to work. Sure. Yeah, frowd out to you, man. Uh, <laughs> that feels more like a sort of maggot Monday, but anyway. Yeah. Okay. Uh, frowd out to the Mon, who's looking to disappear early to get away on a week's leave in Arrowtown. Cheers. Oh, how nice. Yeah, it must be nice. Uh, Actually, you guys mind if I leave early tonight? <sighs> I was hoping you'd say that. Yeah. You, you can cool literally that? leave right now and I'd be stoked. Seriously? Yeah. I... Uh, just wouldn't feel right. Oh, doing yeah, it's a yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, can I please get a big frown out to big dog Josh Watson for being the man and running the whole company by himself? Oh, good on you, you massive backbone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, now, today, big day, fellas. Uh, the big bungee jump off the harbour bridge there. That's right. For uh, <laughs> Daffodil Day, of course, is today. And if you'd like to make an instant $3 donation to help the Cancer Society, uh, text support to 206. Yeah, I think we're actually very close to 100K. I was going to say, so the idea is we'd raise 100K um, alongside ANZ and the Cancer Society. And then Keezy would, uh, well, one of us would do a jump. It was Jace got, got tasked with it with a 70% vote on the big poll last night. Um, adventures ensued, so it fell to Keezy to take it on. Um, distant second place at 28% of the vote. Oh, 28? It wasn't that even was quite, that much. No, that was quite high. I think by the end of it, by the time I looked at it, it was like 18% Keezy, 74%. Uh, yeah, yeah, that'd be right. No, I was eight. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and the, stu- the annoying thing was because we get there and there's about ten, there's about four. We went through them yesterday. Fourteen medical things you have to tick. Mm. The lady literally said, "Jace, you can't jump for this reason," and she also could have because she also listed a couple of the other reasons he had ticked as to if he had just had that, he also couldn't have jumped. Yeah. So it was just you were you're never allowed to ever do a bungee jump. She did say to me that the pregnancy would be fine, but. Um, Did you take pregnancy? Yeah, yeah. Well, that was um, the thing about it, um, because you actually ticked all of them. 
Ne- uh, nearly but, all of them. But only, but only about half of them actually applied. But such was your determination to not do it. Uh, um, although you acted you, you, brave face. Was I, some, can I say it was some of the best acting I've ever seen I from you? I will say this. <laughs> four of them were legitimate. Yes. And, um, but having said that, I think I would have died if I did it. Yeah. 100%. And that's the uh, thing, and, and, and genuinely looking at Kesey and afterwards <laughs> I went, my God, mm. that, that would have been an absolute nightmare. And, in fact, if they had have said yes, I don't know that I would have been able to do it. Oh, I've got no doubt you wouldn't have. Um, <laughs> and, and the great shame is it's what the people wanted. <laughs> I know. Uh, but having a bungee jump where you leap off and then only your legs are attached and you plummet. Um, With my heavy torso <laughs> and heavy breast. <laughs> Honker first into the Auckland Harbour. Um, yeah. We've got some, because I haven't actually heard this because I was doing the jumping, but we've got some audio of Jace actually calling the big jump. Do you guys want to hear it? I'd sure, love to. Man. Oh, look, I tell you what, he's, he, he's all strapped in. Uh, he's just walking out to the edge of the platform now. Uh, he, <laughs> he is uh, doing it very tentatively, as we all would, because she's a fierce hide up here. We're in the clouds. Oh, my God. A grimace from Keezy as he stands right on the edge, looking down to the uh, freezing cold water below. You got this, KD. You got this, brother. You're back, Brian. Let's do this, KD. KD. Two, one, go, KD. Woo! Oh, there you go. A massive backbone. <laughs> Comes bouncing back up. Oh, what a legend. Did his head touch and, the water? Uh, no, he uh, he got very close, Prebs. Uh, and they're uh, winching him up now as we speak. And, uh, oh, geez, he's done it. He's wow. Done it. That was one hell of a plunge. Woo! Amazing. Yeah. yeah. Good call, Jace. Bloody good Thanks, call. Mate. Bloody good call, that, mate. If um, you want to um, see the video, by the way, head to the Hodaki Big Show Instagram page there. Plenty of vids up there for you to look at. Totally, mate. In the meantime, uh, there's a bit of an excess for you. The Hodaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Kesey. Pearl Jam there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Friday afternoon. The time is 28 minutes past four o'clock. A few more shout-outs there, Kesey, on 3483. Well, the outs Oh, frout outs frout out shy day. Um, remember you said it wrong about two weeks ago and yeah. now we won't let it go? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah sure. Uh, big frout out to Butch the Painter, a.k.a. The Blade. He is a backbone. The blade, yeah, man. yeah, nice. I like that. I like that. Big frat out to Jimbo the sicko slinging darts at Formosa Golf Course. Yeah, I like that too. Yeah, yeah. terrible Good. slinging Good. darts. Terrible golf course. Ah, uh, shout out, frat out. Sorry, guys, frat out to Ben M for getting on the piss before the big game tomorrow. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was, yeah. Nothing like being in a ruck in a mall with a massive hangover. Yeah, it's good stuff. You know, have a bit of a chunder. Oh, it says here it's field hockey. Oh, right. Yeah. Same, same thing. Hey, um, fellas, we've been talking recently about um, old Mogies not feeling not feeling great, bit low on energy. Yeah. Uh, tired? Bit stressed out, bit, bit tired, but also waking up in the middle of the night, which is pretty standard procedure for me. And um, I've tried, we've kept it off the radio by and large, but there's some great content on our podcast, which you can get anywhere you get the best podcast in the world. Yes. Anyway, I was talking to a mate. So anyway, what I'm doing at the moment is I'm six weeks, or might be seven weeks, into a fitness program, which is designed to to keep me away from the booze because if I've got something to focus on then I won't drink that's what I need to do um, and so as part of that it's a bit of a bulk so I'm having 3,000 calories a day nice. sure as part of your calories you want to have X amount of protein fat and carbs so I just uh, put together this this uh, this diet this menu and I eat exactly the same thing every single day and I've been doing this for 6 or 7 weeks uh, but I thought I'd just run it by you guys and see if you can spot Okay. Um, what I might be missing, All if right. I can. Okay. Um, I think I've got six. What have I got? Seven seven meals I have over the course of the day. Breakfast. Crikey. This is called eggs. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, this one here, I have three eggs, uh, three pieces of uh, wholemeal toast, and some mayonnaise. Okay. Yeah, is that light mayonnaise? Uh, no. It's so well, I'm trying to have more calories, right? right? Yeah, so right, I'm yeah. building them up. So that's 570 calories. Uh, then I have, uh, at some point, a protein shake, which has got a banana in it. Yum. Okay, potassium. you got that? 
That's 225 calories. Then I do um, some oats, overnight oats, which has got rolled oats, chia seeds, uh, milk, cinnamon, um, some protein powder, kiwi fruit, and some yogurt. <laughs> And that's 550 calories, that one. Then chicken and rice, which is just a chicken breast yeah. with some rice. I know that's one of your favourites, Jace. That's seen a that high, atrocity. A high-protein bar. Yum. Yes. Okay. And then Not some, the stiffy bars. Huh? Not the Maybe we got not the boner rusty chocolate. Ones. Yeah, yeah, no, they're not boner bars. Um Protein. and then and then some cashew nuts as well. Some which nuts. Are, some nuts and they're really high in calories, cashew nuts. Hot. Really, really high. Unsalted? Unsalted. No, not acceptable. Um so that that's what I eat every single day. So I I know exactly <coughs> what the issue is here. What's the issue? Are you having any vegetables? I'm having zero vegetables. Did you and it didn't really, I don't know what I was thinking, but I have a kiwi fruit and a banana, and that's about it. No veg, zero vegetables. Is, is, so I've probably got scurvy. Is that bad? <laughs> is that bad? <laughs> yes. Is that no veggies? No veggies, is that bad? Yeah. Um, I believe it I believe is, you meant to eat your veggies. Yeah, five, five plus a day. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah, but you see so your oh, veggies is because tobacco grows. Yeah, right? yeah, that's so a, yeah, yeah, yeah. a plant based. Smoking tobacco, it's that's fine. Based. Yeah, 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 yeah. And as long as you have five darts, and that's your five plus. Yeah, Easy. exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, so yeah, I've had a bit of a mozza. And did who pointed this out for you? Or did you realize yourself? I was just chatting to a mate. Oh no, was I? No, I was talking to, to my wife, and my she wife. said, "I don't think you're having any vegetables." And of course, automatically, I wanted to disagree with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I thought, and then I thought, oh, actually, no, I think you're right. I think you're right. And then I talked to a mate at the gym, and he's like, "Yeah, you probably got scurvy. <laughs> <laughs> You've got a disease what that pirates an used absolute to get. idiot." But can I just say, so, so you constructed this diet. It wasn't just like here's the diet for this particular program. There was a there was a diet, and I sort of had it last year that I used it, and I tweaked it a bit, and I just ha- I had not even noticed that it was missing. All I was looking at the numbers that I had to hit for fats, carbs, and protein. I was just looking at sure. those numbers, and then once I get into the rhythm of it, I don't care what I'm eating. It's just yeah. you're eating for fuel. But yeah, wow, there you go, scurvy. At least you know what it is now. I'm pretty sure that's what it's going to be, right? I'm pretty sure yeah. <laughs> scurvy. <laughs> The Hauraki Big Show, weekdays from four on Radio Hauraki. Yes, indeed, the dunce here on the radio. <laughs> Hauraki Big Show <laughs> this uh, Friday afternoon. We, Keezy was just regaling us with a story off air there, well, and it's sort of sh- it's taken us aback. Uh, yeah, sorry about that, fellas. And to do it just as we were going on air, that's my bad. But to be honest, capture that feeling you have right now because we needed to discuss something. It's to do with uh, Beer Vinyl last week on the Friday there. We did the oh. Friday Throbber. Yes. The theme of the Throbber was drinking or having beers or whatever it might be. Jace chose a song that was not only not a Throbber, it was nothing to do with the theme at all, and it caused a huge amount of drama. And, in fact, we decided, well, I was certainly in favour of him being banned from the Throbber. Well, can, can, I, can I just make a quiet point? It caused a huge amount of drama for one person. Jace, <laughs> but there's people listening. Pugs was up in arms about it. I was furious. People listening were like, Jace is just pissing all over this thing we've got. The, the throbber, it's sacred. Every okay. Friday. Yeah. And so I thought we were all in agreement that Jace was banned from the throbber for this week. But then Mike. Yeah. You raised a valid point. Mm. He was banned from that throbber. He yeah. was forbidden to have won it. That's right. He was, he was not allowed to participate in that round, which seems fair because he didn't get the theme right. But then it seems punitive to extend that ban to another week, which has never happened before in the history of the throbber. And I think if you're going to put that rule in place moving forward, you go, okay, well, if you don't do the uh, theme, then you get banned for two weeks. But Then that's fair enough. But if you're going to go... Oh, now we're just going to chuck another week on it. It's like, it's, you yeah. know. No, I get what you're saying. However, the thing is, if you get the, th- the theme wrong, or if you're drawing too much of a long bow, right, mm. <laughs> that's fine. But it's his, it's utter, he admitted that he didn't care about the theme. He admitted his song wasn't a throbber. He did it. We gave him plenty of warning. What he I, still sure. chose it. What sure. I said was, Oh, here we go. I thought, Here we go. I thought you said songs we like listening to while now, we're now drinking. Now, this is when I start airing on to Keezy's side, because... <laughs> When you start lying through your teeth about it, that's when I think actually ban him for life. <laughs> actually, because Pugs told you repeatedly days before what it was, and this is when I get wound up is yes. when you a- bullshit. Actually, <laughs> actually, what happened? It wasn't days before. What it was actually the, it, what happened? It, it was, was days. It before. was the day before, and I said, "Do we actually have?" Because I couldn't remember whether we had a theme or not. And then he said, 
But it yes. was but it was a long whether it was one day or two days, it was a long enough amount of time for you to get it sorted. And not only that, I had given you a throb a, a, a song suggestion. I gave one. Of, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Had you pugs? Have you given me a song suggestion? Wednesday, I told you, Jason Hoyt. Yeah, well then I must have forgotten. That is more than enough time. <laughs> I must have forgotten that. But look, fellas, <laughs> fellas, look. But regardless. Look, I place myself in your hands. No, well, and the way I look at it is the one band for the week is enough. If Jace wants to continue to not bother doing it, then I don't care about that either because it's more wins for you or me. Like, but, I'm not bothered. And if he wants to disrespect the throbber, then I think that's funny. And we get to smash him and do this Jace, every week. <laughs> please respect the throbber, okay? Sure, Keezy. <laughs> the way you said that. Oh. And also, but also the way that you say respect the throbber makes me want to disrespect the throbber. <laughs> <laughs> right, well, I don't know what to do then. I think Jay I, should be in. Right. And if you you got your themes and you don't do it, then yeah, yeah, you're, you're out, yeah, you're you're out, out that out. round. Yeah, you're not in the running. That's the one. Okay. But I, can't, I think sure. we can hand out. Okay. Look, the thing about it is, man, if we're going to hand out bands, that's, that, those bands are bigger than some NRL players are seen for head-high tackles and, and shoulders to heads and all sorts yeah, of things. Yeah, genuine brain damage. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. a good point. All right, yeah. well, you're in this week, Jace. The theme okay. is bungeeing, so jumping, flying, whatever it might be. Sure, Are you sure. okay to choose a song that fits that? Sure, man. Hang on, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you promise? Why is Puck so furious? <laughs> He's I mean, capturing... <laughs> oh, Pugs has just told me he's picked another terrible song. Oh my god, Jace. Mogi liked it. Oh. I like that song. I love it. Oh, you set me up, you <laughs> son of a bitch. The Hauraki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue, and Keezy. Yes, indeed. T Rex there on the uh, Radio Hauraki Big Show this Friday afternoon. But let's talk some rugby union. Crouch, touch, pause. Engage Rugby Union Chat with Hoity J. Yeah, well, obviously a very exciting match uh, this weekend against the world champion South Africans in South Africa, 3 a.m. Sunday morning. One of the interesting things uh, that I found with the naming of the All Black side was three vice captains, uh, which feels like a little bit of an overkill to me. You know what I'm saying? Do you really it's, need it's three ridiculous. vice captains? Uh, it's ridiculous. Yes, it is. And you were twenty eight coaching staff. Got, well, I th- my understanding is that there's Robertson, and then there's seven assistants, yes. and then Leon McDonald left. He's and, gone, but they've gone. Oh, we're not going to replace him, so we're going to re. We're going to get somebody else to do that role. It's like, well, if you didn't need that many, why have you got that many? And I, I do wonder about having clear messaging come to the players when you've got seven or eight coaches. Yes, it's just like. It's a bit over the top. Let's be honest well, and look, about hey, you know, it. Might be this is genius. the thing. It might be genius. Scott Robertson, you cannot argue with his record, and so let's give Correct. him give him a few years. Let him lose a World Cup, and then we can all Bang you know him. absolutely destroy him online and everything else. Which of course they didn't. They didn't do with Fozzie. <laughs> They no. destroyed him, and then he lost a World they Cup. They destroyed him week by week. Week by yeah, week, yeah. 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 Um, but listen, this is going to be a humdinger. The South Africans, I think, are clearly the best side in the world. We are genuine underdogs. Great to see Dogwell Barrett is back as the skipper. Uh, he makes a big difference. Uh, Sam Kane opening on the opening uh, on the open side. Yes, going for the experience there. I'm still picking South Africa by ten. Is that your hunch? That's my hunch. All right, uh, that's happening. What is it? Three a.m. Sunday morning. Yes, All it's right. a it's a game I'm most excited about in rugby union for a very long time. Same here, man. It's going to be a doozy. Shall we chat for the final time this season? Uh, but it was. Why not, man? Time to chat footy with me, Easy. What are the Warriors up to? They're playing the Sharks Saturday night. Sharks are uh, pretty far up the old NRL ladder there. We're playing at Shark Park. Yeah. We're probably going to lose. Um, (laughs) And my hunch for this game is that Adam Fenua Blake, who's been great for us the last two seasons, pretty much one of the best front rowers in the entire competition for us, he is going to the Sharks next year. So my hunch is that he is going to score a try. We're still going to lose, but he will score a try. I think that's paying four bucks. Um, and if you join the TAB now, you can get up to $100 in bonus cash with our 400% deposit match offer. T's and C's apply. R18, bet responsibly. I feel like the last time we played at Shark Park was around three or four of last year uh, when Sean Johnson orchestrated one of the great comebacks in the history of uh, of the Warriors. 
and that really set our season on fire. That's right. Um, we were down by 16 or 20 points and mm. came back and won that game. I don't think that's going to happen. Nah. Tomorrow night, um, it's on at 9.30. Will I be watching? I mean, it's just, that's the sort of thing that I'd watch in the morning. So I could go Warriors, Sharks in the morning and also the replay of the All Black South Africa because that's on at 3 in the morning. I'm not going to be watching that live either. It, and pretty great way to spend your Father's Day, can I say. Yes, absolutely. With back-to-back. Footy. Um, Footy. Back-to-back losses. <laughs> that has all the makings for me of the Warriors being absolutely pumped. Thanks, Jace. Yeah, I mean, well, anything's possible. I'd well, love yeah, to it's end true. It. I mean, we could have a great victory. Who knows? Well, the thing is, there's nothing that we've seen over the last, like, what have we lost eight out of the last ten or something like that? There's nothing that you've seen over the past weeks that would make you think that we can beat a top four side. Yeah. So uh, it'd be great to finish on a high. Sean Johnson's last ever game. Um, it'd be nice to get a win there. Going to be, be be a few tears, Keezy. Going to be upset. Me. Be a bit emotional. Nah, I've done my crying this season. Yeah. Cup of tea and a lie down. I've done yeah. a lot of crying this season. So sure. to be honest, I'm pretty keen. I'm glad there's a bye next week. So um, we just end the season early. Yeah. And I can concentrate on next season. Um, but if you want $100 bonus cash bet, text TAB to 3483 right now. Yeah, good stuff. Hey, coming up after five, of course, the Friday Throbber. The theme today, uh, bungee or... Yeah, bungee jumping, yes, eh? Yes, jumping, but, flying, yeah, something jump, to do with bungeeing. Yeah, case. something bungee, You yeah. really struggle with that, don't yeah. you? Yeah, no, good, good. I just... Yeah. That's after five. The Hauraki Big Show with Jace, Mike and Keezy. Tune in weekdays at four on Radio Hauraki. It's the Horaki Big Show's Friday Throbber. Yeah, welcome back, you massive backbones. Hope your Friday's going along very nicely indeed. The Friday Throbber, we each uh, pick a Throbber to take you through your Friday night into the weekend. The theme today, Bungie. What's a Throbber? It's a, like a rock song. Which well, not necessarily. Tune. It's a song that's meant to launch you into your weekend and be an absolute ripper. And, and on occasion, we've had some shockers. We've all had shockers. Uh, Jace's Too Many to Name. Uh, I had Teddy Bear's Picnic one time. That was and, over two and a half years ago. And I won. That was a that was a beautiful yes. moment for all of us. And Keith is a big fan of Smash Mouth. So uh, there's been some shockers over time, and we've made a concerted effort to try and re-rockify the throbber, is yep. what we've done. Just sure. quickly, the scoreboard. Uh, Mike is out first on 10 wins, which is huge, Mike. Well done. Thanks, Mike. Uh, Jace, you're on seven <laughs> with four asterisks. Oh, four now, is <laughs> what? it? No, this is the amount you've always had. I've never had four. <laughs> Mate, don't tell it to me. Tell it to the doc here that we've been updating live for a number of years now, and I'm in last place on six. Yeah. Uh, so hopefully I can turn things around today with All today's right. bungee-themed throbber. I've gone for a, uh, a bit of a rocket today, fellas. I hope you like it. I went out on a date with a girl a bit late. She had so many friends. I brought my pogo stick just to show her a trick. She had so many friends. Is that System of a Down? That is System of a Down with Bounce. And it's also jump, known as Jump Bounce. So they did a whole song about a pogo stick. <laughs> <laughs> that is so weird. <laughs> tune, though. An absolute tune. What about you, Jace? What did you choose, man? Ah, oh, this is a feel good. And also, <laughs> feel good sort of. Also, uh, before we tune. say what it is, uh, Jace went in back into the studio and changed his original throbber choice because he knew it was going to be terrible. Yeah. So this is the one he came up with. Yeah. Jumping Jack Flash. Good vibes, man, on a Friday night driving home. Yeah. That is a tune. It's one of my favourite tunes, uh, tunes of all time. I thought Keys would have chosen that one, actually. I, I was going to. That yeah. is a tune. One, two, I got a feeling that... Um, uh, 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 that is a tune, isn't it? It is a tune. That Keys is going to choose, choose something with flying in. He keeps on saying the word flying. So let's see well, what he's running with there, Keith. Is it not he just okay? Kept on, no, he just yeah. kept on, every time I'm talking about, you know, like jump or flying, kept on having flying. And I was thinking to myself, is bungee jumping really like flying? I bet Keith has oh, got a song. Here I we bet go. Keith, I bet Keith has got a song with flying in it. Am I wrong? It doesn't have the word flying in it. <laughs> it's all it good. does? I think, I think, it's, I think it, it does. Okay, I'm very pugs <laughs> saying it does, actually. All right, well, here's mine. Straight away, it has the word fly in it. <laughs> Wait. Oh, yeah! Leonard Skinner, Freebird. Great stuff. Well, you decide, Nizzy, then give us a call right now on uh, 0800 Hodaki.
In the meantime, let's listen to the killers. That feels like a stretch to that free bird, I've got to say. Mike, <laughs> come on, man. I jumped off a bridge today. That is unfair. The Hauraki Big Show. Weekdays from four on Radio Hauraki. It's the Hauraki Big Show's Friday Throbber. Yes, indeed. Welcome back, your massive backbones. The uh, Throbber theme today, Bungie. Uh, yeah, uh, bungee, yeah. Uh, why, why was that the theme? Uh, because you did a bungee today, Keezy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. For charity, and if you text support to 206, you can make a $3 donation to the Cancer Society for Daffodil Day. Actually, we'll have a bit of an announcement in terms of the total later on. See where we're at, eh, fellas? Okay. Um, All right. Mogi went for this throbber. I went out on a date with a girl a bit late. She had so many friends. I brought my pogo stick just to show her a trick. She had so many friends. It's called Bounce <laughs> Slash Jump by System of a Down. Uh, yeah, man. What did you choose, Jace? And I went for this feel-good Friday tune, driving home in the sun. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jumping Jack Flash, Rolling Stones, an absolute tune. Uh, just uh, on this song, Jace, by the way. Uh, uh, um, <laughs> Greg played this song like two hours ago for uh, Three's the Magic Number. That's right, he did. So not only have you chosen a song that literally just played, it shows you don't even listen to our station. Well, I'm, I'm imagining, Keezy, that there's probably people that weren't listening two hours ago. They also <laughs> played Van Halen Jump. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. I didn't hear the third Under one. the Bridge. Uh, Red Hot Chilies. Uh, really? Right, yeah, okay. That's not bad. Uh, I chose this song, by the way, which is very much to do with bungee. you got jumping and you're flying and your birds and stuff. <laughs> Tune, man, Leonard Skinner, Freebird, great yeah. stuff. All let's, great tunes. Uh, let's go to the phone lines. Good day, Joseph. You mad bastard? How's life? Life is bloody great. How's your life, Woody Jake? Yeah, good. Thanks, mate. Good. Thanks. Uh, what are you running with here, Joseph? I'm running with the ultimate durry break on Keezy's choice. Yeah, yeah good on okay, you, Joseph. Yeah, what am nice. I putting my feet up for eight good minutes? Good on you, mate. Have a durry. Good on you, man. Uh, who are we looking at? Is it Kurt? Is it? It's Kurt. So yeah, good day, Kurt. You mad bastard? How's life? <laughs> Hey, thanks. Woody Jay, how are you? Yeah, good, thanks, mate. Good, good, good. Uh, what are you running with there, Kurt? Uh, I'm, I'm actually going to go with you, Jay. Oh, OK. Fine. Nice, man. Good on you, man. Good that's on pretty you. weird, Kurt. No, that's not weird. <laughs> no, that's weird, man. That's a good tune, man. No, <laughs> good day, Joe from Christchurch. How's life? Good day, Phil. How are you going, mate? Good, pretty great, mate. Pretty great. Good on you, mate. What are you running with there? I'm going to have to go with old Sleazy Keezy. Hey, Keezy's had ah, a win. Ah, thanks, hey. Joe. you got great taste, mate. Good on you, man. Good tune. Thanks, mate. Tenuous, tenuous link to the no, thing today, don't can start. I just say. I don't know if we need to put an asterisk on this one, brother, but we'll have a chat about it when we come back. Sure, sure. Well, it's, it's nine minutes till we're back, so you will have forgotten about it by then. Tune, by the way, turn it up. Friday Throbber, Freebird, Leonard Skinner. Robber. 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 The Hauraki Big Show. Weekdays from four on Radio Hauraki. Freeboot there, Leonard Skinner on the uh, Radio Hauraki That's Big a Show. Tune. That's a tune, eh, fellas? That's oh, a, a pretty good tune, tune. yeah. yeah, yeah. It's um, bloody long. Of course, the theme today was bungeeing because I jumped off the Auckland Harbour Bridge for Daffodil Day uh, and, of course, free birds, birds flying. I flew off the bridge, sweet as. So I'll just, yeah. go, to the, uh, I'll just go to the scoreboard here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've got Mike on 10. Keezy on seven, Hoity J on seven with four asterisks. So pulling clear of Hoity J now. How does it feel to be last, by the way? Oh, look, I mean, no, we're, we're last equal at no, the No, but you got four asterisks. <laughs> asterisks are just the silly things you put in whenever I win. <laughs> are they? Yes, they yeah. are. I'm surprised there's only four. Yeah. Yeah, you're right, actually. I think I've miscounted. There might be five. Yeah, well, probably seven. seven. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Chuck seven on there. But you guys don't, you don't have an issue with free bird. Nah, good as God. I think yeah. we're free bird, mate. And uh, after the day that you've had, um, you know, we'll give you, that, give you that one, I think. So you're saying that if I didn't jump off a bridge, be forced to because Jace was supposed to do it and then couldn't medically do it? Yeah, I think so, man. I really? mean, there's obviously there's a reason why I chose the song I did. I just thought it would be a nice way to top the day off for you if you had a win in the throbber. Oh, right, okay. Sure. So it wasn't because I chose an absolute on-theme throbber then? Oh, no, I think it was a really neat song. Oh, my God. <laughs> 
<laughs> Get out of here. Uh, by the way, coming up next, I believe, on the show, oh, yeah. a dating scenario. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah, One yeah, of those, yeah, is yeah. it? A little bit of a dating scenario there. We'll, um, we'll each have a little bit of a crack at that. Of course, Father's Day coming up this weekend. Yes, man. Um, and some fathers out there, um, they might be looking to get back into the dating pool. Do you know what I mean? Sure. Um, yeah. You know, looking to uh, partner up, and so we'll be. Um, oh, we'll see how we go, I guess. Yeah. Well, the idea is though we're going to be putting ourselves in different scenarios. One of us will be playing the person you're trying to, you know, hit it off with yes. and pick up. Yes. Um, so we'll go through that next. Okay. Great stuff, mate. Oh. Oh yeah, man. This is a tune, man. Do you think? Yeah. Big Friday, Portugal, the man. Yeah. The Horaki Big Show weekdays from four. On Radio Hodaki. Yes, indeed. Jimi Hendrix here on the Radio Hodaki Big Show. Now, look, there's a lot of people out there at the moment, Mogi, uh, who are in the dating scene. And uh, we thought it would be a useful thing on the Big Show to maybe go through some dating scenarios to help some of the listeners out there. We should call this segment the dating game. The dating well, yeah, the dating game. game. You know, we'll make a nice. sing for that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. Nice. Thank you. Um, just to give some people some tips on how to go about dating, you know, how, yeah. how, how to go about approaching the opposite sex, all the same sex. Nice what, save, Jace. Uh, whatever you want. Yeah, it's, um, it's diff- it is different, though. The, you know, the sex is the way you approach them is different. And is. I, I probably wouldn't apply one to the other, but that's up to the listeners out there. You're cool. But for the sake of this one, um, I think who's who's pick, trying to pick up this time? Is it me? Yeah, I Should think. I start? I think that's the most likely scenario in the future, so. Oh, hang on. Uh, and so I'm trying to pick out. In, the, in my case, it would be a female. Yeah, yes. it'll be me, it'll be me this week because I think Jace, you had a, you had, were the lady last week, and one hell of a lady you I was. Were. Yeah. Raven, I was head, one, raven-haired beauty with one two, hot mama. two two tattoos. One yes. of them was a swastika. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so the scenario is a supermarket, Keezy. Yeah. Right. And so what does the female look like? Uh, blonde hair, um, slight build, like your just your cup of tea. Up and down, Keezy. Yeah, it's nice. one of those things where you see them, you're like, I, if I don't go and have a word to this person, right. I'm going to regret it for the rest of my life. Wow. Sounds sort like a of smoke thing. show. Okay. Um, where am I? I'm in the produce section, um, and I'm making some selections of toma- tomatoes or tomatoes. Uh, g'day there. Mm. Hi, how's it going? Oh, g'day, uh, my name's Chris. I just uh, spotted you looking at the tomatoes there. Uh, what was your name, sorry? Oh, Sing Sing. Sorry, what was that? Sing Sing. Sillagen. Sing Sing. Sing Sing. Sing Sing. Sorry, I got kicked in the throat by um, my three-year-old. So oh, I'm sure you- I've had to mess with my voice. My oh. three-year-old, she's a shocker, man, I'll tell you what. Oh, have you got a three-year-old, she's have a, you? Oh, yeah, I've got six kids. Six kids, yeah. The three-year-old kicked me right in the throat. Far out. Um, well, I just wanted Judy, to s- could you come to counter two, please? So, so, Judy, so counter what, two, please. When you want, what were you saying? Well, no, I was just... Um, you are good looking. How, th- thank you. For, mm. So Hey, so are you, Susan. Thanks. Um, how many kids did you say you have? Just six. Oh, yeah, cool. I'm pregnant again now. Oh, congrats. Thank you. Your partner must be very stoked. Oh, no, single again. <laughs> yeah, ready to mingle. Well, uh, just sort of, I saw you over there by the tomatoes and I came over. I was just like, I would, if I didn't come over. 027. <laughs> um, no. 41. No, no. I was just wondering. Um, 64. 69. Six. Was that 69. Was that 69 on the end of there, was there? Yep. And that's your phone number? Yep. That's season. Um, what are you doing tonight? Oh, tonight I was just going to go home and uh, glass of port. <laughs> I was actually going to have a glass of port. How did you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, actually, the reason I was coming over was just to ask uh, how much tomatoes were per kg. I thought you worked here. Sorry. So but that's fine. I can see the price there. So it was very lovely to meet you, Susan. Um, and yeah, um, enjoy your your pregnancy. I'll see you later. All right. So that I mean that didn't quite go the way I thought. I thought it was. Go- was Susan related to Doctor Mogi at all? The Hodaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue, and Kesey. Foo Fighters there on the radio. Hodaki Big Show this Friday afternoon. And great news, fellas. 
we've hit the $100,000 mark in the old fundraising for Daffodil Day. Wow. I think 104. To be exact, $104,000. So far, so far, so far that's right. Still going, still going. You can still uh, donate if you want to. That's right. Tech support to 206 for an instant $3 donation. Of course, we said if we got to $100,000, we'd jump off the bridge. Mm-hmm. We were up there. We were at about 98000 Yeah. So we are like, stuff it. It's going to get there. Yes. Uh, so thank you very much to everyone that donated. Very yeah. exciting. Speaking of which, we should uh, relive that moment again, actually, Keezy, oh, of what? you jumping off the bridge. Oh, Fine. that's a good idea. Yeah, because a lot of people wouldn't have heard that. Fine. Oh, look, I tell you what, Keezy... He's all strapped in. Uh, he's just walking out to the edge of the platform now. Uh, he is uh, doing it very tentatively, as we all would, because she's a fierce hide up here. We're in the clouds. Oh, my God. A grimace from Keezy as he stands right on the edge, looking down to the uh, freezing cold water below. You got this, KD. Let's go. You got this, brother. Come on, KD. You're back, Brian. Let's go, this, KD. 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 Yeah. Two, one. Go, KD. Woo! Oh, there you go. A massive backbone. <laughs> Comes bouncing back up. Oh, what a legend. Oh, thanks, Jace. Yeah, good stuff, mate. And uh, I have to say, you you did look a bit worse for wear. Uh, weirdly enough, about an hour on from that. Yeah. And maybe the shock of it all just came. Hit, you get the you know, adrenaline comes through the body and yes. then it leaves and you're exhausted. Yes. I imagine would have been what. Yeah, it, I was absolutely gassed. And everyone said I looked super pale and bought me food and, you know, it said I should have some beersies and all sorts of lovely things like that. And I am extremely tired now. Right. Yeah, yeah. Um... I could have scurvy or it could be because of the bungee. I don't know. <laughs> Probably a combination of the two, to be fair, uh, Keezy. Yeah, that's right. Um, Jace, you were saying you had some breaking news. Yes, there. I do. This is breaking news. Uh, a few days ago, fellas, you'll recall I was talking about the America's Cup has started up again. Uh, absolutely loving it. The technology is extraordinary. Can I just say, I agree with what you were saying, though. Well, you watch the boats, and it's just people hunched over. You cannot see anyone moving or doing anything. Yeah, right. You can't see people actually sailing which, a boat. Which does suck a wee bit. It does, and the problem is the technology is so good um, that basically whoever wins the start wins the race, and they just put the pedal down, and away they go. Unless. Well, um, yes. Mm. Yeah, unless um, you've got a dodgy crane operator. Yes. Yeah. Uh, which made me laugh because at the moment uh, New Zealand are out of the America's Cup because they dropped their boat. Isn't this something that's happened before? Like yes, I think d- it is something that's happened before. Yeah, I think so. I, think so. I definitely think it, was, it has yeah. happened before. It was down it was here at the viaduct. It got damaged in a similar sort of incident, I think. But it's a weird thing, isn't it, with the... Um, with the America's Cup, because you have the Challenger Series, and then there's the Louis Vuitton Cup, which is round robin, and then semis, and then a final. And then America's Cup is way down the other end. Yes. It's not till October, um, and that's automatic entry for the Defender, which is Team New Zealand. But they're allowed to have a little bit of a run around at the moment. But it's, uh, yeah, she's a funny setup. But yeah, good stuff. Drop your boat. The, the great news is they've worked out what's wrong with it. So now they're going to fix it. Yeah, yeah. And I'm sure that'll be a cheap. Yeah, uh, it just made me laugh when you think of all the technology, the innovation going on, and they drop it. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, uh, <laughs> fellas, uh, we're going to yeah. get the basics right here. Basics, Can you innovate Kizzy. me a crane that works? <laughs> oh, oh remote. Far out, man. The Hauraki Big Show. Weekdays from four on Radio Hodaki. Faith no more there on the Radio Hodaki Big Show this uh, Friday evening coming up after six o'clock. Of course, what's on the TV with Mike Minogue. And are we doing What's for Tea New Zealand with me? No. Oh, we're not. No, no, we Friday. did it yesterday. Yeah, yeah, oh, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we yeah. mix it up. I mean, we could do like texting what you're up to for Friday. Oh, yes. Yeah. Or yeah, for yeah. the weekend. No, yeah, nice. nice. Yeah, 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 let's do that. We could call okay. that what's, what's for what's for weekend. What's the haps? What's the haps? Yeah, yeah. yeah. What's for haps, New Zealand? Yeah, with what's the haps? Mogi. With me. Mogi. Easy. Actually, with you. D- yeah, so we'll do that after six. That sounds cool. Uh, what are you up to this week in New Zealand? Three four eight three. Send it through. Go in the draw for a fifty dollar night and day voucher. Beautiful. The Hauraki Big Show with Jace, Mike, and Keezy. Tune in weekdays at four on Radio Hauraki. Welcome back, your massive backbones. Hope your Friday's going along very nicely. You're listening to the Big Show, brought to you by Night. Uh, 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 
Night and day. day. Yeah. What? Come on, man. Four dollar fifty for us to make coffees at night and day. Yeah. Pretty mm. yum. Hmm. Uh, no, it's too late oh, now, Keezy. Oh, You've already ruined it. Yeah. Okay, um, I just thought I could save it. Hey, now, fellas, I was telling you last night that my wife was making chicken teriyaki. That's right. She went to a cooking class and learned how to do it properly and make her own teriyaki sauce. You were yes. saying off here you changed the name of it to teriyaki because it was so bad. Yeah. Best chicken teriyaki I've ever had. Really? Wow. It was magnificent. Wow. Really? On steamed white rice with a beautiful sort of Japanese salad on the side there. Why was it Japanese? Well, it had a miso kind of dressing and oh, so yes. forth. Is that? Oh, is that? Oh. Look, I'm just going <laughs> to... Just to be safe, you know, just because just I don't want to, you know, people to write in and be like, that was Was racist. it the miso? I think it was calling the rice white. Didn't help. That was oh, racist. Right, okay. yeah. And then saying that the salad was Japanese because you put some miso on it. That's well, racist. it was a miso dressing is what I was yeah. saying. Oh, it was miso dressing. Pardon? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. I didn't know what miso was. Oh. Well, no, miso is a soup, but you can make a dressing out of the oh, miso okay. paste. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it was Seaweed, very, Jace. It, it was very good, Mogi. Great. Did Big you bring any in? my wife. Did you no, bring any well, in? I ate it all. Oh. Was the chicken moist? Very. Excellent. Thanks, Keezy. Oh. <laughs> uh, by the way, the podcast outro today was about doing a bungee jump off the Auckland Harbour Bridge. Here's a wee clip. When I did a, a jump 25 years ago or something, you're standing there and it feels like it's dragging you That's right. down by your ankles. Yeah. And then, of course, the moment that you leap, it feels like nothing is attached to your legs at all. That's right. So you go from feeling like you've been dragged off to feeling like, f***ing hell, is that thing still on there? <laughs> <Yeah>. Oh, shit. <laughs> I can imagine that. Yeah. Muggy, that would be very terrifying. You'd yeah. be like, oh, hang about. Yeah. Across uh, the street, you're here. Did they hook this back up again? Yeah. But all good, fellas. I'm here and so's Keezy, yeah, right? Yeah, We're okay. Yeah. So good. We're oh. all alive. If you want to see a clip of uh, me jumping off the Auckland Harbour Bridge, by the way, go to the Hodaki Big Show on Instagram. It's all up there for you. And if you want to listen to our podcast, 7 30 every night, best of the Big Show comes out and a little podcast outro of bonus material. Beautiful. Uh, Muse, that, that, keep that those texts. Oh, you're going to say Muse. Yeah, yeah but keep oh, those yeah. texts coming on 3483. What are you up to this weekend, New Zealand? The Hauraki Big Show podcast. Old Jay there on the radio, Hauraki uh, Big Show. Speaking of what people are up to for the weekend, uh, by the way, fellas, I'm off to the batch tonight. Very excited yeah. about that. Uh, after the debacle of our last visit there, I'm looking forward to spending some quality time with some friends out at the batch. Right, so... When was that in mind? We need to... Th- um, well, I'm thinking mid-September for us. Oh, yes. Uh, we have a weekend. Yeah, yeah, I'll be keen. Um, yes. You're 100%. Your wife's gone out there now, right? Yeah, she's, she's gone ahead of me. They got out there at about midday-ish, mm. Mogi. Right, and it's all looking good? There's no double bookings yeah, or anything? Not at this point. Right. And if there is, they can... Yeah. I won't say it on air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. I delayed on that Big one. Talk. Um, Big talk. Big talk. But of course, it is Friday. It's after six, so it's time for. What are you yeah, up to this weekend? What are you up to this me. weekend? Keezy. With me, Keezy. What's the haps? What's the haps? Oh, what's the haps? Yeah, 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 Sorry. Yeah, yeah. Come on, guys. What's the haps, New Zealand? With me, Keezy. What are the haps, Keezy? Well. You text in on 3483. You tell us what you're up to this weekend or tonight, and then you're in the draw for a $50 nine day vouch. Are you yeah, sure great. this isn't too similar to What's for Teen News? No, I think it's well, quite no, different. See, uh, I don't know what people are up to. Louis is off to Matakana tomorrow. Beautiful part of the country. Yeah, he's going Louis to Ma- Armstrong. Uh, it might be Louis Armstrong. Oh, well, it is on. Louis Armstrong, actually. This makes it very similar to What's for Tea New Zealand. Because <laughs> um, the, the market's there, great. We'll do that one weekend coming up, I think. Uh, great text here. <laughs> Machu is currently demolishing 4 kg of kina. Kina? Kina? Well, it's, oh, it's pronounced kina, yeah, yeah, but yeah, everyone yeah, just yeah. says kina. Kina, kina. Right, right. Yeah, yeah, so that sounds fun. Do you like that? Nah, it's disgusting. Yeah. It is absolutely I've only th- I terrible. Think, I think I've only smelled it or smelt it. I mm. love my seafood. That's a step too far for me, that. Yeah. The, the kina. Is it? Yeah. Mussels? Yeah, totally. Wait, too far or yum? Yeah, yum. Oh, okay. Mm. Scallop? Yeah, totally. Well, hang on, yuck or yum? Yum. Oh. Uh, another text here from Brad. Oh, my God. Cooper? No, this isn't what's for tea. This oh. is just what's the haps New Zealand. It's very different. Right, okay, cool. <laughs> G'day, Flellers. Uh, Brad here. Having schnitzel tonight with sp- uh, potatoes. No, they don't. 
Well, that's, that's just that's, what he's. That's but, very. That's very much no, like what's for pretty, dinner. But, yeah. yeah, I know. It's what was his name? Brad Pitt. I think it was Cooper. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I know, but what's the haps New Zealand doesn't capture like what you're eating as well. So he's cooking dinner. Yeah, yeah, so he's cooking yeah, dinner. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah, I see. Yeah, yeah okay, so that's... Do we have any vegetables with that? I don't want them getting uh, scurvy like uh, Mogi. Mogi. Uh, yeah, Brussels sprouts. Okay. Nice. Yeah, I like a Brussels sprout. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, g'day, fellas, Luke here. Oh, wow. Excited for this... Luke Skywalker, because it's an, a fictional one. That makes it different. Yeah. So we'll do fictional ones for this. Yeah, good. Son of Darth. Well, that's a spoiler. That's a huge spoiler. That's a massive spoiler. Uh, stag do with the fellas this weekend Stoked that it's supposed to be sunny Nice You've got a 30th coming up don't you Tomorrow Keezy What are you talking about oh, I thought you had a 30th Yeah I do oh. Yeah yeah, I do tomorrow night Looking forward to it actually It's going to be great um, And one last One last uh, text here on 3483 For what's the haps What's New this Zealand. one say uh, This one here says G'day fellas Hayden here Oh Patton well, hang on, I thought you were doing made-up. That's a made real up. person. Hayden oh, we're going to make a maiden, uh, make up. Okay, Hayden. Hayden have to stay up so late to watch the rugby on Saturday night. Oh, yeah, nice. See, that's actually funny. Yeah. I'm literally saving all my energy to get up at 3 a.m. and watch the All Blacks take on South Africa. Holy helmet. Yeah. That is crazy. It is crazy. So keep those keep those texts coming on 3483, and this has been What's what's On. What is it? What's the Haps? What's the Haps, New yeah. Zealand, and it'll definitely be back. <laughs> The Hauraki Big Show with Jace, Mike and Keezy. Tune in weekdays at four on Radio Hauraki. Rolling Stones there on the Radio Hauraki Big Show this Friday evening. But right now it's time for... What's on the telly with Mike Minogue. Yeah. Continuing my addiction to all things Oasis at the moment, my wife's like, "You are really, you're in, aren't you? You are in on you this. You are. You're very committed, and I very, I very much am. And I don't know why it is, but I am. Um, so I started watching. I haven't finished it yet, but the documentary Supersonic that came out with the cooperation uh, documentary that came out with the cooperation of the band members, maybe about five years ago. Sure. I saw it at the Embassy in Wellington. Maybe it was longer. Uh, God, it's a good, it's a bloody good documentary. Really well made. There's actually quite a lot of old footage of them, like their first gig and all that sort of stuff. But one interesting tidbit that came up from it was it was two and a half years from the time they signed their first record deal. So they were all on the dole. None of them have had jobs. 30 months later, they played in front of 125,000 people at Nebworth. Wow. Wow. Which is the biggest crowd ever for a single band. Yes. That's, that's, can you imagine nah. your head nah. on that journey? <laughs> and well, just, it explains a lot. It does. From the doll to, you know, the financial change in your life. Oh, you know what I mean? Like, any, you can have anything you like, yes. and they definitely did. Yeah, yes. so bloody good. That's on TVNZ uh, Plus. You can watch that for nothing. And it was a good, it was a good doco? It is a great Doco, right. I, I might say. watch it to try and yeah. wrap my head around yeah. what the big deal it's, is. It's, yeah, it is quite something. I think you'd really like it. It's yep. quite interesting, the early stuff, though, because you hear, hear the early tracks and you're like, whew, the early recordings like, he can't really hear the stardom in here, right. but it gets better as it goes on. Yeah. 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 It's yeah. like my, my, early, our, my early stand-up <laughs> comedy with old Johnny Bruff. The Ooh. early days, she was pretty rough, but then he. it was a humming machine. <laughs> um, I didn't... Um, <laughs> I didn't actually really watch TV. Did you TV. just compare yourself to Oasis? He did. Yeah, a little and bit. just absolutely um, pat, dislocating his shoulder, patting himself on the back. Um, <laughs> didn't really, uh, you know, I had the TV on in the background, played a bit of Scrabble, had a bit of a chat. You um, pumped again? Yeah, I got pumped again. Oh, I'm oh, God, I am dying to play you. I was hanging in there the again. Batch. This is what's happened to me uh, in the last two moves. Boom, boom. Triple wordplay crap. Yeah. And it just destroys you me. You keep setting her up. Um, well, I try to avoid letting her get the triples, <laughs> even if it means me doing some really grody act. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> sure. Um, but, yeah, no, your, your gold mining, your, your opal mining in the background there, murders nice. and stuff like that. What did you watch, Keezy? Uh, last night I watched another episode of Taskmaster New Zealand because I was a bit like, oh, I've yeah. seen a couple of episodes and I was a bit like, oh, it's fine. You know, it's not as good. But last night's episode, uh, 
it was a lot better. And I think partly because Matt Heath is now in the studio representing Torfinger. Yeah. Um, and this is a few episodes back now for people who are up to date. But Matt does a really good job of like representing his client and arguing on behalf of Torfinger, right. who can't yeah. be there for various reasons. Um, whereas I feel the other com- comedians who have filled in haven't done that. Right. And so he's arguing on behalf of Torfinger with Jerry, who he knows. Yes. Um, so that was a, made the sort of studio dynamic much more enjoyable, which I think mm. I was sort of struggling with. Sure. Um, sure. So yeah, TVNZ Plus still pretty bloody entertaining. I'd still be keen to be on it. Shit, <laughs> 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 sure, is this Blink 182? Yeah, <laughs> man. The Hauraki Big Show. Weekdays from four on Radio Hauraki. Kings of Leon there on the Radio Hauraki Big Show this uh, Friday afternoon. Now, uh, the big pie, beer and pie July. The pie's coming out, fellas. It certainly is, JC. Are you referring to the Hauraki pie that Dad's Pies is making? Indeed I am, and I believe it's steak, jalapeno and cheese. Angus steak. Angus steak. What, what, what is what? an Angus steak? Does that come from a cow called Angus? I don't know. Are they know. Scottish? I don't know. Me. Well, no. There's the, there's your classic Angus beef, and and the and the bull is called Angus. We eat bulls it's, now, are we? Well, no bulls and cow, but it's a breed. Angus breed. Angus it's breed. A, it's a breed. Jason, I don't come here for facts, man. Oh, Give me sorry, an alternative man. fact. Um, Angus is the name of the farmer. Thank you. Who started using cattle for beef? Oh, I have to eat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. So before that, they were just using them because they looked cool. They were just pets. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. In the house. So house pets, yeah. Uh, But there is also a rumour going around that it's a breed of cattle uh, specifically bred for uh, in Scotland. Uh, for their beef. Don't believe everything you read on the that, internet, man. Because that's I'll on the internet. Uh, but yes, Dad's Pies is officially making the Hodaki Pie. It is Angus steak and jalapeno cheese. Voted by uh, all the great New Zealanders out there listening right now. We're going to be having the first bite of that pie in the coming weeks. Yeah, looking forward to that, actually. See. Bit of saucy on the side there. Why do you have to put sauce on it? It's everything? got jalapeno in it, man. If, yeah, if it's, and cheese. If it's, got a, if it's a pie, it's sauce. Is it? Doesn't matter what's in the pie. Apple pie. Seafood. Well, apart from apple. No, I'd still do sauce with seafood. Tomato pie. sauce yeah. on a seafood pie. Yes. That is disgusting. I think you're lying I, to be right. I would give you I give you my word because your seafood pies are usually quite creamy, and I quite like a sauce with my creamy pie. Jace has mm. given us his word, Mike. That's all I need, man. There you go. He's an honourable guy. Uh, <laughs> but make sure you do stick with us over the next couple of weeks. We're going to be debuting it. And then keep an eye out. Thanks to Dad's Pies, the official Radio Hodaki Beer and Pie July flavour, Angus Steak and Jalapeno Cheese. The Hodaki Big Show with Jason Hoyt, Mike Minogue and Keezy. Well, there you go, you mad bastards. That's the uh, big show done and dusted for your Friday afternoon. And indeed, for the week, uh, Mogi, your plans for the weekend, mate? Well, um, I've got a pretty exciting one, as uh, as discussed earlier. So that'll be good. Yes. Uh, get through all of that. I'm also thrilled to announce here, fellas, that tomorrow in Auckland it's going to be 21 degrees. Oh, Wow. That's really good news. 21 degrees. That's exciting. That we is sh- thrilling. We should thrilling. go to your Thrilling. We well, should go to a, your batch, man. That's a great news for old Hoodie J. That's where I'm heading off as soon as we finish the show tonight. Just one thing, it says that it's pissing down over your batch. Oh, yeah, well, it could be. It's actually <laughs> quite amazing how, you know, it can be beautiful in Auckland, and then just across the water it's pissing down. Of course it is. That, that wouldn't surprise me at all. What are you up to, Keezy? Re- recovering tonight. <laughs> Yeah, I've still got a bit of a headache from the bungee, which yeah, is weird. Yeah, yeah. Your energy's low, man. It is, eh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. A few beers, man, a couple of shots. Okay. And you'll be brand new. Well, I've got a 30th tomorrow, which I'll be getting Have stuck you? into. Um, Who's not, is that? Uh, just a mate, Sean. Oh, Sean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll be going to his 30th. Um, but tonight I'll probably just chill, to be fair. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Just take a load off. Yeah, Wait, well, what about you? Oh, you're going to the batch. Yeah, man. Okay. I've just... Oh. I, I was going to go straight to the batch, and I've just got a text from my wife saying, can you pick up all this stuff from the supermarket? Are you oh, joking? Wow. No. Are you joking? No. That's not acceptable. <laughs> That's not acceptable. She's at the batch. She's doing nothing. She can go to the supermarket. Well, the, it's, it's half only, an hour from the batch. It's just the, Yeah, it's half an hour from the batch, and also she wasn't sure if stuff was going to be there or not. And she's just discovered it's not. But hang on, what about also, what about the whole milk? For you? you see, this is, yeah, this is divorce material. Yeah, it is, man. Yeah. It's one thing after the other. Yeah, we'll talk yes. about this on Monday. Oh, yeah, 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 we'll get yeah, into yeah. it. All yeah. right. Hey, listen, thanks for taking the time to listen to the show. Check out the podcast. Check out the Instagram account. Till Monday. See you later. Bye. Bye.